If you are withdrawing funds from your Binance account, you may notice that there are two networks that look very similar, which are the BNB Smart Chain and the Beacon Chain. Does it really matter which network you use to send your funds? Let's break this down together. The BNB Chain is a layer 1 blockchain with about 4 billion worth of total value lock. And this blockchain has two main components, the BNB Beacon Chain and the Smart Chain. Both of them run in parallel to each other and are both required for the blockchain to function. To understand why the BNB Chain actually needs both of these chains, we will need to explore the history behind this blockchain. Binance launched the Binance Chain in 2019, where it aimed to promote fast decentralized trading on the Binance Dex. However, this network actually had limited functionalities, especially in terms of interoperability. At the same time, the Ethereum network was booming due to the rise in popularity of smart contracts. The user base for the Binance Dex was quite low, so Binance decided to jump on the bandwagon and they launched the Binance Smart Chain in 2020. This network is a fork of Ethereum, which means that the majority of Ethereum's code was copied, but the developers made some minor changes. One of the more significant changes was that the Binance Smart Chain used uses a proof-of-stake consensus mechanism rather than proof-of-work which was what Ethereum was using previously. This allowed developers to deploy smart contracts on the Binance Smart Chain and it is an entirely separate network from the Binance Chain. The terminologies were quite confusing since the first chain that Binance launched was called the Binance Chain while the newer chain with smart contract capabilities was called the Binance Smart Chain. There was also quite a lot of criticism that the entire Binance Chain was too centralized especially since it had a very small amount of validators. In 2022, Binance sought to reduce its association with the blockchain network. Network. They wanted to show that it is decentralized and community driven and they rebranded the entire network into the BNB chain. The Binance chain was now renamed as the BNB Beacon chain while the Binance Smart Chain is now known as the BNB Smart Chain. BNB is actually the native token of both of these networks and Binance claims that it stands for build and build. Now that we understand why these two networks were created, let's talk a bit about their token standards. These are a set of rules that the token needs to follow so that it can be used on that specific blockchain network. The Beacon chain uses the BP2 token standard while the Smart Chain uses BNB BP20. Since the Beacon Chain is a standalone network, it has its own token standard. Meanwhile, the Smart Chain is a fork of the Ethereum network, which follows the ERC20 token standard. As a result, BB20 has some similarities to ERC20. A fun fact is that BNB was an ERC20 token before the Binance Chain was launched. However, it has now adopted both the BP2 and BB20 standards, and it is the native token for both of the networks. It is possible for you to convert your tokens from BP2 to BB20 or vice versa using Trust Wallet. My video here shows you how you can do it with just a small amount of BNB. Another key difference between both of these networks is its compatibility with the Ethereum virtual machine. The Beacon Chain is standalone, so it is not EVM compatible. Since the Smart Chain is a fork of Ethereum, it is compatible with the Ethereum virtual machine, which is the environment that is used to deploy smart contracts. This also allowed developers to port over their code from Ethereum to the BNB Smart Chain. And this could be one of the reasons why the BNB Smart Chain had a higher rate of adoption. The differences in EVM compatibility also affects both networks' wallet address formats. As a standalone network, all Beacon Chain wallet addresses start with the prefix BNB. Meanwhile, Smart Chain wallet addresses follow the EVM address format where all of them start with the prefix OX. If you are sending your tokens via the Beacon Chain, there may be times where you are required to include a memo. And you can check out my video here where I explain this concept more in depth. Since the Beacon Chain and Smart Chain are two separate networks, not all non-custodial wallets will support both of them. With the Smart Chain being EVM compatible, most Web3 wallets should support them, including the likes of Metamask, Trust Wallet, and Coinbase Wallet. However, the Beacon Chain is slightly more niche, so not all wallets will support this network. The notable examples will include Trust Wallet, Atomic Wallet, and Garda. In terms of exchanges, Binance has the most support for the BNB Smart Chain and Beacon Chain. You should be able to withdraw a large number of tokens via both of these networks. Other exchanges support both of these networks, but mainly for the BNB token. Exchanges like KuCoin, Crypto.com, and Gate.io allow you to send and receive BNB via both the Smart Chain and the Beacon Chain. Other exchanges like Huobi only allow you to send or receive BNB via the Smart Chain. In terms of the use cases for both of these networks, the Beacon Chain is mainly used for governance and staking. I'm unable to find the Binance Dex, so I don't think it's operational anymore. If you're still using the Binance Dex on the Beacon Chain, do let me know in the comments below how you access it. Meanwhile, for the Smart Chain, the possibilities are endless due to its smart contract capability. You are able to interact with any decentralized application, and this allows you to play games, swap tokens, lend them out for interest, perform liquid staking, or even trade NFTs. A recent proposal on the BNB Chain has just been approved, where this allows you to stack your BNB even on the Smart Chain. Now that we know the differences between both of these networks, how does this affect you as a user? In most cases, if you want to interact with any decentralized application, you should be withdrawing your tokens via the BNB Smart Chain. There are so many use cases for the Smart Chain, and you will need to send your funds to a non-custodial wallet that has EVM support. The most common ones will be Metamask, Trust Wallet, and Coinbase Wallet. And don't forget to send your funds to an address that starts with OX. In terms of withdrawing your funds via the Beacon Chain, the only use case that I see so far is withdrawing BNB via the Beacon Chain if you are looking to stake it with a validator.
I'm not that sure what's the point of withdrawing other tokens via the beacon chain. And if you are using the beacon chain, do let me know what other features are there apart from stacking BNB. If you are withdrawing your tokens via the beacon chain, don't forget to send them to an address starting with BNB and not OX. If you are withdrawing tokens via these networks that are not native to the BNB chain, you'll be sending over a wrapped version of these tokens known as a Binance Pack token. You can find out more about whether they are truly safe and what are the risks involved in owning these tokens in my video here.